Fight Magazine here with you're, you're pretty basically the Dana White of oh, the easy, UFC easy. game, no, right? I'm no, I'm no Dana White. No, definitely not. I'm just I'm just lowly producer uh, UFC Undisputed 2010. Mm-hmm. The the reaction for the first game obviously very positive. Uh, what were your expectations going into 2010? Well, I think going into 2010, you know, we really kind of tried to focus on making what worked in the first game better, right? You know, a lot of the things that we did in the game were things that, uh, you know, and I always go back to this, we did things that we didn't necessarily have to do, we did them because we wanted to. Um, you know, 2009, many could argue, was the best MMA game ever made, and so we really tried to make sure that we, we worked on the things that, that were working well and also improve on the things that there were obvious complaints about or things that we didn't get to. Um, but I think, you know, expectations for 2010 were, were high, you know, based on the, you know, kind of humbling success of 2009, uh, we really wanted to make sure that you know we kept uh, we kept this uh, special thing going, so to speak. What were some of the things that you heard from fans that you went ahead and implemented in the game? Well, I think, you know, obvious submissions like Southpaw not being in there, uh, you know, more positions, more submissions, cage positions, uh, you know, uh, you know, Southpaw, the sways and leans. I mean, these were things that were kind of, you know, in a working state last year that weren't quite necessarily ready to go in. We weren't, uh, you know, sort of happy with, with uh, how they were looking. Uh, you know, and, and another year of development allows us uh, that much more time to tune and polish these features. Uh, you know, we redesigned the entire uh, uh, collision system, all the animation. Uh, you know, I mean, as far as stats go, you know, we tripled the number of strikes. Uh, trip, I mean, I'm sorry, quadrupled the number of strikes, uh, tripled the number of ground positions, uh, doubled the number of submissions. You know, these are all things that kind of went into the game to make it that much better. You know, so uh, definitely kind of blew out a lot of the 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 uh, you know things. And we're very vocal. Um, I mean, or sorry, sorry, we're very active on the boards. You know, we're looking at the things that the, the fans are talking about, things that they you know kind of expect. And you know, we we kind of know a lot of these things, but also you know, I mean, keeping keeping the fans happy is something that we're very, very, uh, you know, passionate about. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, why did Brock Lesnar earn the cover? Uh, well, you know, Dana White is a smart man. You know, he's built this brand and knows this sport. And uh, I think uh, Brock is kind of, uh, you know, from a from a metaphorical standpoint, you could kind of point to this is how big the UFC's gotten. You know, we're at this point where it's just huge. And I think Brock is kind of a fitting, uh, fitting, you know, cover uh, cover athlete. You know, we work with UFC to kind of go in lockstep with their brand and making sure that this game is representative of that. And uh, you know, this year Brock was on the cover, and I think he's a he's a great uh, great representative of what this brand is and what this game has become. There's the idea that the UFC game will bring new fans into the sport. Have you got wind of that at all? Uh, I, I completely agree. You know, I mean, there's plenty of people, certainly I think in the gaming community, the hardcore community that we've found that I've talked to that... Um, you know, we'll actually make that comment that maybe they weren't used, uh, you know, sort of interested in UFC or they didn't get the programming or they weren't, you know, it wasn't available in their areas or they just never watched it. But now as a result of playing the game and having to learn the ins and outs of the game, you know, you're, whether you like it or not, becoming a UFC fan. You're learning how these fighters fight. You're learning what they're good at, what their, uh, you know, what their abilities are. And I think that comes through in the 2010 game uh, more so than even in 2009 because of the fact that we've gone with this a la carte system of kind of creating unique individual fighters fighters and extending that to the career mode and create a fighter, um, I think that uh, you know, you're just going to see a much more accurate representation. Creating the game a year-long process, if not more, very difficult. Did Dana White ever call and yell at you at this point? Uh, no, you know Dana's actually you know an incredible businessman, and you know we work hand in hand with the UFC in a lot of things. I mean, working with them and getting access to their people, getting uh, you know access to their uh, whatever it is that makes a UFC show what it is. Uh, you know, we get access to. I mean, it's it's a great great partnership. Uh, you know, our our focus is really keeping Dana happy. You know, I mean, the guy definitely pulls no punches. He lets everyone know how bad the first games were. And, you know, I think uh, we've, we've done a good job of kind of being the visual, you know, the game representation of the UFC. And, you know, our hope is that we're, we're doing it for a long time. So what can fans look forward to from the game, and when can they get the game? Well, I think fans can look forward to a more realistic UFC experience. As far as a fighting game, I mean, it's just going to play better. It's going to look better. Uh, You're going to have more kind of uh, interaction with your fighter, more investment in your created fighter, for example. Uh, Career mode's better. I mean, it's just more better. (laughs) You know, I mean, every mode, you know, we added a ton of modes to the game this year. We have, you know, this event mode. We have this online camps. We have title, title defense mode. I mean, I could go on, and that's just the general modes. I mean, we've added so much to the combat, to the gameplay to the decisions that you make in a gameplay scenario, um, I think people are just going to be blown away with what we've been able to do in a year. Uh, So the game will be available on Xbox and PlayStation 3 uh, May 25th, 2010, with the PSP coming out later in the fall.